What's up guys? I am uh, not Chris Doe, as you guys can tell, but I am here at The Future in Los Angeles. And uh, I want to talk to you guys about a couple of things. I put out a post today that I wanted to pretty much get questions from you guys about what is it that you want to learn about video production and getting started out. And I got a couple different DMs and I'm just going to talk about them. Da -da -da -da. I want to know how to find clients. So. For you to find clients, you need to first understand who your clients are and go to where they're at. Uh, we were just at a lunch here with the pro group and uh, one of our members talked about how she's looking to find more marketing directors and these different uh, uh, CEOs and CFOs and you need, to, you need to go where they're going. So what a lot of people do is for instance, they'll go to a lot of creative workshops and meetings but that's not where you're gonna find your people. So for us, at Tasca Studio, something that we do, we go to uh, you know dentist conventions because that's where dentists are at. Find the places where the people that you wanna do business with are located and then go to those places. And then you also have to have an understanding of who those people are. That's probably gonna be the biggest thing for tell people, understand who your clients are and uh, you know, go to where they're at. Other things you could do that I highly recommend is like, you know, invest in time and do an SEO for your business. Um, you wanna make sure that you know you have a good looking website, but putting your business on Google My Business, Bing Places and Yelp are probably the three places I tell people to go from there. And then also do a lot of outreach. You could do a lot of um, partnerships with different agencies that may not offer video to their clients and being able to offer that as a service, as an extension for them, that's another great way to find clients. Um, what's next, what's next? All right, next question. Oh, and the last question was from someone out in San Francisco. We just connected on Instagram. Um, okay, how much are your rates? This one comes from Peter over in San Francisco. How much are your rates would it charge clients when shooting and editing? Well, this is something that will vary from a lot of you guys. Some of you guys might just be starting out. Some of you guys might be more veteran. So start with the beginning. If you're just starting out in your business, you need to find out how much money do you need to make to live? I think that's probably, I'm gonna cut this light down a little bit. That's a little bad and that's harsh. All right, how much money do you need to make a month? Well, for me was, in the beginning was that I knew I needed to make $150 a day because that's how much I was making when I was bartending and waiting tables. So when I got to the point that, you know, I'll work for 10 hours a day working on a video to make 150 bucks because to me, that time was more wisely spent than me working five hours to make that money, even though the amount of time I was spending was less, but I wasn't working on my craft. Eventually, you go through a transition where you are charging clients hourly, which I started out at 25 bucks an hour, eventually went to 50, 75. Now I charge $200, $200 an hour for production. But, you know, but that was through what I found out what my time was worth and value to me. Throughout your process, you're gonna go from hourly based projects to fix based projects and then something that I'm currently working on, which is value based pricing, we won't get into that. Now when you get to you know uh, project based pricing, you need to start taking into consideration all the different roles and things that you do within your production that you can charge a client for. So my day rate for production is $1,600, and that covers a lot of different things. I'll bring on somebody to help me, I'll have a makeup artist, all these little nuances that you know I could pay somebody and cover my expenses and still make money. So you need to figure out what is gonna be your cost, what is it you need to make money, and then start charging appropriately. And every market's different. You know, I know other people that charge $1,200 a day, and other people that charge $2,200 a day. You need to figure out who your, your clients are. For the most part, if you are looking to grow in this business, and if, you're, if you really enjoy doing the music video and those things, it's a super competitive market that you don't really get paid a lot for, unless you're working for some really big companies out there. And at that point, I don't know how much money you're really making. What I found for me that works the best is working with service-based businesses, creating videos for uh, people like, um, 
roofers, people that do ACs, cabinets, floorings, because when they, their clients typically spend thousands of dollars with them, they could spend, you know, a couple thousand dollars doing a video, or even a couple hundred dollars for getting started. Find out who in your network that you could talk to that's able to connect you to some of these people. Build your portfolio. So that's where I'm, I'll, I'll go with that. And that question came from Peter. Um, and then editing. So linking back to editing, I normally charge client four hours of editing for every one minute. This is for pretty much a basic editing. Um, you know, motion graphics and all those things, those are added on, but you need to figure out what is your time worth to you. For me, I know I could pay an editor $20 an hour to do a lot of the leg work and grunt work for me, and then I can come in and do all the polishing. Chris is out there talking, so uh, I'm gonna do one more I'm gonna send out. So this one comes from Curious Pavel. Hey Rodrigo, a quick one. I mentioned already hearing your, your path and I was thinking to start approaching businesses and offer my services since I now have some samples to show. Pricing will be less in the beginning will not, and will be no set, just quotations. But do you ask your clients to sign something in the beginning so they don't come back and claim rights to footage? So, huge thing, contracts are keys. Have a piece of paper, even if it's something very simple that tells a client exactly what they're gonna get how many hours of coverage you're gonna offer them, how long the video is gonna be, and how many revisions they get. This is gonna make sure that no one's taken advantage of. And then there's also stipulations that you wanna include. If they go over that, how much is it gonna be? So we're gonna give you four hours of editing. If you need extra revisions, those are $50 an hour. You wanna make sure this is clear. And even if it's small, I, I still put together agreements for $250 projects because I don't wanna to have to deal with those issues later. It also just makes you look more professional. So that's gonna be my last thing for today. Like I said, I'm here at the future. I'm about to go back into the workshop. I just wanna share these tips with you guys since I put out a post and these are what people are asking me. But if you have any other questions, make sure you leave a comment. If you found this helpful, uh, you know, hit like. And then if you feel like this better, hit subscribe. That really helps out the channel. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Keep hustling. See you guys next time. Was I not recording audio? Hello, hello, hello.